everybody. I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers and all my new viewers. You guys have been pouring in lately, which is nice. Uh, I do apologize for the sound of the fan in the background. I've got my fire burning right now, and I'm trying to get this place nice and toasty. I mean, it's nice and warm right now, but more is always better. Anyway, so I got the side panel here taken off. Tried to get the seal out without taking this off. Wasn't getting anywhere with that. So, I actually had to take the whole side plate off of the thing. And I'll show you the seal here in a second. But, when I went to take it off, I don't know how long it... Well, it had to have been this way since the day I bought it. When I used 10, my 10 millimeter wrench to pull off the... To take these bolts out, I put it on there, went to rotate, and it just popped off. I mean, it didn't break, you know, it just popped, you know, I broke the seal. And then I went to the next one, boom, 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 boom. They weren't really even tight. And especially when I did it with just one hand, I don't think they're supposed to be so loose. Uh, I even marked, it, marked the bolt, you know, with a Sharpie. So that way when I go to tighten it, I have the same bolt pattern laid out right here as they are on the engine. I took a mark, uh, Sharpie and marked it so that way when I go to tighten it, I need to get, get to that point. But after I started breaking them so dang easy, I realized, wait, these things weren't even tight. The seal is a little messed up. I didn't have to do anything with that. I didn't have to pry it off or nothing like that. I just, you know, this handle here is uh, rubber. So all I had to do is tap it around and it, you know, came right off. I had to slide it off. When I got it off, I noticed while I was looking at it, while the seal sat in there, the bearing's just fine. The bearing's great. It's perfect. It's pressed in there right and everything. But the seal, on the other hand, I started noticing that on one side, the seal had a certain distance to the rim. And then as I rotated it, the seal, the distance got shorter. So the whole seal was put into this crooked. And it had to have been like that since day one, since I bought the engine. And I've had this for four years. So, uh, this engine has been on the Batmobile, it's on the bike right now. So, the oil, I'll show you what the oil looks like here, and it's pretty gray. I noticed that when I went to take this thing off, as the oil was draining, I noticed that there were a few little bubbles in it. But they weren't bubbles, it was water. Now, I know that uh, regardless of how good sealed your engine is, you're always going to get some type of water in it because through condensation, you know, you, your engine will be hot and then as it starts to cool down, you won't get condensation in it then, but if the engine is cool and outside starts getting warmer, then you start getting condensation on the inside of the engine. So being able to keep all the water out of your oil is, well, literally impossible to do so you're always going to get a little bit of water and you'll, you'll see I'll show you what my oil looks like here yeah and here is the seal right there it has this little spring around it and I don't know how well I can pick this up but uh here let me switch this over to Macross okay well I don't know if you can really see it or not, but right here, the seal is damaged. And when it was on there, the seal had a, it was like folded over. The spring here, see I'm thinking that the spring should be uh, perfectly round spring sits inside there and some of the plastic lip was folded up underneath the spring yeah also after I drained it on oh, the drain plug right here uh, inside here was a lot of gunk a lot of dirt and stuff well, I shouldn't say dirt, but you know, it was thick, didn't drain out with the rest of all the oil. 
Uh, so I took a towel and you know rubbed it in there and got most of that out. Yeah, and when I got the uh, when I took the side off, I think I'm gonna have to get another seal, another gasket here. Started to rip a little bit right there. And uh, well, like I says, with the when I took the bolts off, they weren't tight. Uh, and also noticing my springs here. Yeah, that does. That's not. That's not good. That's from the vibration of this handle hitting the spring, messing up the spring right there. I'm gonna have to get new springs here. Get a new gasket. Uh, get a new shaft gasket. Jeez, I don't know. That's what I've come across so far. If you guys know where I can get replacement springs and stuff, you know, for this type of engine, then it'd be much appreciated because I haven't got a clue where to look for this little stuff at. Now I've gone through this thing and looked on the inside. I pulled out the uh, camshaft and looked at it. That's in still pretty decent shape. There's no big wear spots or flat spots or anything like that that, uh, that the valves touch or nothing. That seems to be all right. I didn't take the piston out or none of that kind of stuff. Didn't want to do any of that. At least not yet. I will someday. But, so the seal is a goofy thing. I didn't know anything about these seals until I pulled this one out. But yeah, I got, there's, a, there's a spring in the thing that seals around the shaft. You see, so I can't really assemble this thing, put this thing back together until I can get the right gasket, um, another seal. I want to replace those springs. Uh, so if you guys know where I can get these replacement parts, I'm sure I could do a search for it and look for it and that kind of stuff. But the way I see it, if you guys help out, post down below this video then later on when somebody else is out there looking for this kind of information they'll come across this video see your posts and you might get some subscribers out of it so there's an idea I'd also like to congratulate fearless front on approaching 10,000 subscribers yeah 10,000 yeah I'd also like to congratulate Donnie boy 73 the small engine mechanic for 15,000 subscribers, going over 15. That's awesome. Oh, and also, I would also like to uh, point something out that uh, Brad Dot Bannon on Facebook is in the process of doing a build where he took one of those uh, little electric kids' Jeeps or trucks or whatever it is. I think it's a Jeep. But he took the body off of that and he put it over on top of a quad on a little kid's quad and it looks pretty cool and I'll leave the link to his Facebook down below in the uh, description of this video now another thing is I'd also like to give a very special shout out to a young kid who was over on live chat he's been over there uh, many times and he has a channel that he started about three months ago and I come to find out that he helped street legal carts get his ratios done on the Mud King and <laughs> Big Boy Toys 98X this kid is on top of it he's pretty good at what he does I've looked at some of his videos watched some of his stuff and he's pretty good at what he does he had initially asked me to give him a shout out a while back and he's really been plugging away at it and I've been looking at his content I thought I'd give him a shout out because he he's got some good stuff he's gonna be going somewhere so I thought I'd help him out and give him this shout out so get on over there and check out his content check out his videos he's a young kid he's pretty good at what he's doing so far so I thought I'd give him that shout out give him a little bit of recognition because I know that from what I've seen so far he, he he deserves it especially at his age well guys, it looks like there's a pretty cool song on the radio, so I'm going to end this video. I'm going to bust out to some Murray Head. Ha! <laughs> oh God, I remember this song. Good song. See you guys later.